In modern warfare, targets often lie beneath layers of reinforced concrete, buried deep in the earth and housed in hardened bunkers designed to withstand direct assaults. Whether they're command centers, missile silos, or weapons caches, these underground fortifications present immense challenges for conventional airstrikes. To address this, militaries around the world have developed specialized bunker buster bombs and missiles, often delivered by bombers capable of flying long distances while carrying these massive, destructive payloads. Bunker Busters are precision-guided munitions specifically designed to penetrate hardened targets. Their primary role is to break through multiple layers of defense, including concrete, steel, and rock, to deliver explosive force deep within enemy fortifications. There are two key characteristics that distinguish Bunker Busters from standard bombs. Number one, penetration power. Bunker Busters are equipped with specialized warheads and casings designed to maintain their integrity upon impact allowing them to penetrate deep into the target before detonation. Number 2. Delayed Detonation Once the munition has penetrated the outer defenses, a delay fuse is employed to ensure that the bomb explodes only after reaching its target depth, maximizing internal destruction. The concept of defeating hardened targets dates back to World War II, when Allied forces sought methods to destroy heavily fortified German installations. One of the earliest examples of Bunker Buster technology was the British Tallboy and Grand Slam bombs designed by Barnes Wallace. These massive, earthquake-inducing bombs were used to collapse enemy fortifications and infrastructure. Post-World War II advances in Bunker Buster design were spurred by Cold War tensions, with the development of underground missile silos and nuclear command bunkers. As underground targets became more sophisticated, so too did the munitions designed to destroy them. Early Bunker Busters focused on increased explosive yield, while later versions improved penetration capability through the use of high-strength materials and advanced guidance systems. Today, Bunker Buster bombs are an essential part of a modern Air Force's arsenal. They have seen use in numerous conflicts, from the Gulf War to Afghanistan, where they have been employed to neutralize enemy leadership bunkers, underground facilities, and even mountain hideouts. One of the most iconic bunker busters is the GBU-28, developed during the Gulf War. Originally, it was designed to penetrate the reinforced concrete bunkers of Saddam Hussein's military command. The GBU-28 weighs approximately 5,000 pounds and can penetrate up to 20 feet of concrete or 100 feet of earth. The GBU-28 uses a laser-guided system for precision strikes, ensuring the bomb hits its intended target with incredible accuracy. It was first used in 1991, when F-111 bombers dropped it on Iraqi command bunkers near Baghdad, demonstrating its effectiveness in breaching heavily fortified structures. The GBU-57AB Massive Ordnance Penetrator, or MOP, is the United States' largest bunker buster bomb, designed to destroy even the most heavily fortified underground targets. Weighing in at a staggering 30,000 pounds, the MOP can penetrate up to 200 feet of reinforced concrete before detonating. It was developed to counter deeply buried facilities, such as Iran's underground nuclear complexes. The MOP is delivered by the B-2 Spirit stealth bomber, making it a formidable weapon in both its ability to penetrate and its ability to avoid detection. Its primary role is to destroy hardened military bunkers, including those used for housing weapons of mass destruction or WMDs and missile launch systems. The GBU-31 JDAM Bunker Buster is one of the most versatile and widely used bunker busting munitions in modern military arsenals. It combines the BLU-109 Penetrator Warhead with the JDAM Guidance Kit, transforming a conventional unguided bomb into a precision-guided munition capable of penetrating hardened targets. The JDAM Guidance Kit uses GPS and inertial navigation systems, allowing for precise targeting in all weather conditions and at long ranges. The GBU-31 JDAM Bunker Buster weighs approximately 2,000 pounds and is designed to penetrate through reinforced concrete, steel, and rock before detonation. The BLU-109 Warhead provides enhanced penetration capabilities, making it highly effective against underground bunkers, command centers, and other hardened facilities. The JDAM's precision-guided nature minimizes collateral damage, making it ideal for surgical strikes on deeply buried targets.
The GBU-31 JDAM has been used extensively by the U.S. military in conflicts such as the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, where it played a critical role in targeting enemy leadership bunkers and underground storage sites. It can be deployed by various aircraft, including the B-52 Stratofortress, B-1B Lancer, F-15E Strike Eagle, and F-A-18 Hornet. The Taurus KEPD-350 is a German-Swedish long-range air-launched cruise missile renowned for its ability to deliver devastating strikes against hardened and deeply buried targets. This missile is specifically designed for strategic precision strikes and can penetrate up to 8 meters of reinforced concrete, making it highly effective against bunkers, command centers, and fortified facilities. With a range of over 500 kilometers, the Taurus missile is equipped with a broach warhead employing a tandem warhead system for enhanced penetration capabilities. Its long-range capability allows it to be launched from well beyond the reach of enemy air defenses, making it a critical component in bunker-busting operations. The Taurus missile has been integrated with several European air forces, including Germany and Spain, and can be deployed from aircraft like the Eurofighter Typhoon, F-A-18 Hornet, and Gripen. The AGM-158 JASM is a highly advanced, long-range, precision-guided missile used by the U.S. Air Force for striking high-value, heavily defended and hardened targets. Designed with low observable technology, the JASM is difficult to detect by radar, making it a stealthy and effective option for penetrating fortified enemy defenses. Equipped with a 1,000-pound penetrating warhead, the JASM can destroy bunkers, air defense systems, and command and control centers. It has a range of about 370 kilometers or 230 miles, allowing it to be launched from well outside the range of enemy air defenses. An extended range version, the JASM ER, has a range of over 925 kilometers or 575 miles, making it one of the longest range cruise missiles in the U.S. inventory. The JASM is versatile and can be deployed from a variety of aircraft, including the B-1B Lancer, B-2 Spirit, F-15E Strike Eagle, and F-A-18 Hornet. Its combination of stealth, long-range, and powerful warhead makes it a formidable weapon in any bunker-busting mission. While bunker buster bombs are devastating on their own, their effectiveness is multiplied when deployed by strategic bombers. Bombers are designed to carry heavy payloads over long distances, often flying undetected deep into enemy territory. The combination of stealth, speed and precision-guided munitions makes them an essential component in modern bunker-busting missions. The Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit is a key platform for delivering bunker-buster bombs, including the GBU-57 MOP. Known for its stealth capabilities, the B-2 can fly undetected by radar, making it ideal for penetrating well-defended enemy airspace to deliver its payload directly on target. The B-2 is capable of carrying a variety of munitions, including nuclear weapons and precision-guided bombs. It can also deploy multiple bunker busters in a single mission, significantly enhancing the U.S. military's ability to neutralize underground targets. <laughs>